Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back to my kitchen. Today's video is sponsored by Allform, Helix Sleep sister brand of sofas and chairs that are American made, easy to assemble and modular. So in our house, besides the kitchen, the couch is the hub of the house. That's where you'll find all of us. You'll find me reading. You'll find the kids reading. We'll snuggle. We'll watch movies and I'll be editing there late at night. It's really an important place in our home and we spend a lot of time there. So it's really important that it be comfortable and work for us. What I really like about all form sofas is they come in manageable cardboard boxes so you can get it into the house and you don't have to assemble it right away. And when you do assemble it, you don't need any tools. You just open up the boxes and you can assemble them. And because the boxes are modular and the pieces are modular, I was able to do it myself, which is so great. I didn't need a bunch of people to help me move around this great big piece of furniture because the pieces are modular, which is also great if you're moving to a new space or if you want to move the couch to a new space, you can rearrange the pieces and you can create over 500 different combinations. You can also personalize your couch by choosing different fabrics and different legs. Our particular couch is in whiskey leather. It's a three seat with a chaise and it has walnut legs. You can customize the number of seats. You can get different corners. You can have ottomans. You can have a chaise option if you like. It's really great to be able to have all those different options to create an optimal couch for your specific situation and room. Assembly is really simple. You don't need any tools and you can assemble a sofa in as little as 15 minutes. And because all form ships directly to customers, it can offer premium materials at reasonable prices. So there's easy online ordering. You can choose all your options and shipping is fast and free. Allform offers a 100 day trial. If you're not happy with your sofa, they will pick it up for free and give you a full refund. So if you're looking for something new, click the link down below or head over to allform.com slash to receive 20% off the couch of your choice. Big thanks to Allform for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. Now today I'm going to be testing out a gadget that I saw and I knew I had to test it. I in fact purchased it. I did not find it at the thrift store as I have many of my other curious gadgets. If you've missed my gadget reviews and tests, I will put a link down below to the playlist. There have been a lot of them, a lot of egg themed and some of them are just so questionable that I just have to try it, including this one. This is the Nostalgia Waffle Toaster. This toaster cooks the waffle batter in it. Now, I'm sure you've seen plenty of these TikTok videos where they put things that are not meant to be in a toaster in the toaster, and many toaster manufacturers will say, no, 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 that is for toast only. Do not put sandwiches, do not put steaks in your toaster. But this toaster is specifically made for making waffles, which has you thinking, right? Wet batter in a toaster. Hmm, perhaps that's not such a good idea. So I have a lot of questions. Number one, will it leak? Number two, will the waffles come out? Number three, and most importantly, will the waffles be crisp? I love me a crisp waffle, one that soaks up all that yummy syrup and it is crispy. That's the beautiful thing about waffles. That's what kind of makes them different than pancakes, you know, and also those little nooks and crannies that hold all that syrup in. But yes, so three major questions and, and let's see if we get any answers. So let's go ahead and get started. There's our toaster. And indeed the openings look wider than a standard toaster. We have defrost, preheat and a knob. That's the golden waffle zone. That's the zone that I want to be in. So back in the old days when you purchased a gadget, oftentimes they would give you a recipe, sometimes even a recipe booklet so that you could get the most bang for your buck out of your little appliance. But this does not even include a waffle batter recipe, which is really disappointing because don't you want this to work? Don't you want this to work optimally? Wouldn't you want a recipe that works best for this appliance? They don't even give you references to their website or anything. So it looks like I'm going to have to do some research for a good waffle recipe. So let me go do that. I'm also going to wash my molds out. Alrighty, be right back. I'm going to be adapting a recipe from King Arthur flour. I'll put a link down below to the original. I've got some room temperature milk here. I'm going to add some sugar. 
Whoa. Salt, an egg, and some melted butter. Mostly melted butter. You want to make sure all that sugar is dissolved and that that egg is well incorporated. In this bowl, we're going to mix our dry ingredients. So to our all-purpose flour, we're just gonna add some baking powder. I think if we're gonna get real technical, we probably could have put our salt and sugar in here because they're dry, but I think we're gonna be okay. And the recipe specifically says, if there are lumps, that is okay, because we don't wanna over mix this for the sake of just getting a smooth batter because that will make our waffles tough. Kind of scoop it underneath, let the batter fall through the, what do you call those? Not tines, whiskers. I like that. Let the batter fall through the whiskers. So here's one of the molds that they include with the toaster. So I'm gonna close that and then carefully squeeze the edges together, sealing everything so that our batter doesn't come out. Very important to make sure the bottom is sealed as well. So before we begin cooking, we need to preheat the machine. Press down the control lever and then press preheat on the control panels. Okay. Whoa, that was violent. Okay, it's done preheating. So I went ahead and put my waffle mix into a pitcher and now I'm going to fill these. But I don't really know how full I'm supposed to fill these, but I'm gonna err on the side of less than more. Whoa, my batter's thick. Is it gonna go into the mold? Oh God. See, this is the problem without giving you a specific waffle batter recipe. What if your mix is too thick like mine? It looks like it is. It's not going down into the maker. Oh my God, what a disaster. Vertical waffle maker. Who thought this was a good idea? I'm really jiggling it. <laughs> to get the waffle batter down into the waffle mold. And all this time I'm spending doing that is I'm sure negating all that preheat setting bull crap. I think what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm actually going to open up the mold and fill it this way. And that way I know <laughs> at least how much batter I've put in which is going to be just about that much. I don't want to put too much because I don't want this to overflow. We'll tap it into place and fold this over. Now I'm going to place that back in there. I'm going to do golden waffle zone because that sounds good. And I'm going to push it down and we'll see if we get golden zone waffles. Oh, this one. Okay. Make sure they go all the way down. I'm getting kind of a rubbery plastic smell emanating from the machine. But that's often what happens when you first use an appliance. So as waffle batter does, as it cooks, it expands. Here's the one that I did horizontally. Here's the one I filled vertically. Now let's hope it doesn't go too high because, ooh. Besides the gimmick of pouring batter into a mold in a toaster, oh my gosh, are there any advantages to this appliance. Are there any things that are better of this than a waffle iron? I'm not sure. Okay, it popped up and now it's supposed to wait 30 seconds before we take it out and see what this is like. So it's smelling better in here. It doesn't smell as rubbery as it did before. They have these handy dandy little hand tabs so we can pull out our waffle. It smells good. This is the one that we filled up vertically. Okay, let's see if we got some golden brown goodness. Hmm. That does not look very golden brown to me. There is some crispness around the edge here. All right, let's flip it over. It comes right out of the mold super easily. Ah, there is some golden brownness right there. Some. And it has this funny little shape on the top, but it did make a full waffle. I'm surprised. I was really concerned that it wouldn't get into all the nooks and crannies, but it filled it up just fine. I could have used even less batter. Now let's look at the one that I filled horizontally. Oh, there it is. This I actually did not fill enough. 
I needed more batter. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit more golden. Here it is up close. And I really want you to see the texture. Very floppy. All right, let's just try one of these straight up. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mm. The waffle tastes good. It's kind of eggy, slightly sweet, but it's missing the crispness. It's not crispy at all. It's kind of wet and damp and spongy. See, it's fully cooked, but it's much more like a pancake. It's not crispy. As a waffle should be. We have to drizzle some maple syrup on that because that's what we have with waffles. <laughs> maple syrup is so good. Mm. That waffle batter recipe is delicious. It goes perfectly with maple syrup, classic combination. The problem here is the texture. What happens if we take the waffle we cooked and put it in the toaster? Three. And see what that does. I bet that will improve it. It will give that great crispy texture I'm looking for and I'll kind of rewarm it. Okay, it's definitely an improvement. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. That has more of that kind of developed crunch on the outside. Overall, an improvement. Is this superior to a waffle that's cooked in a waffle iron? In my opinion, no, it's not. A waffle iron gives you a crisper texture on the outside and the cooking time is about the same. It's hard for me to find any redeeming qualities for the vertical waffle toaster, except the novelty of just pouring batter into a toaster. But I do recommend the waffle batter recipe. Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Allform for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to get something new, click the link down below or head over to allform.com slash emmymade to see how you can get 20% off a couch of your choice. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Check out my website. I'll include this recipe and I shall see you in the next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Why are my glasses so dirty? I have to clean them. You don't notice it until you're on camera and the lights are on you and you're like, oh, my glasses are filthy. Well, you kind of do notice it, but you just ignore it. But then you've got bright lights. You're like, ew, right? Ah, better.